Hello everyone, and welcome back to another video on my journey into adaptive music for video games. Today, I want to take another look at my project here for adaptive music and how I envision a sort of combat sequence in a video game. What I want to focus on today is talking about my approach to horizontal sequencing. And there are two different types of ways that you can approach this sort of music in a video game. There's vertical and horizontal sequencing. So vertical sequencing is when you have various layers of music that can interweave and fade in and fade out to create different moods and atmospheres, but still follow the same sort of musical themes and motifs. And it still feels like one complete song, but depending on what the player is doing in the game, some layers might fade in or fade out to achieve a different feel for whatever the mood of that scene is calling for. Horizontal sequencing is where you move from section A to section B, depending on what is happening in the game, and it's completely different musical material. So rather than swapping out different instruments for the same themes, uh, we will be transitioning from theme A to a theme B, which could be completely different styles of music. This is really important for storytelling in video games because a player may spend a long time uh, in one area, so we want to loop this sort of ex exploration ambient music, and uh, once they begin a combat sequence, we want to transition into more intense combat music, which will sound completely different. So we have these different loops in place for whatever the scene calls for. So imagine in a game like Uncharted, where you as the player might be solving a puzzle or exploring the ruins, and then suddenly you're ambushed by you know the, the villains in the game, and you have to now suddenly move into a combat scenario. That combat will have been triggered probably by you actioning on an item, it moves to a cutscene, and now we're in combat. But the music itself isn't going to stop is going to keep looping and then move into that combat sequence. So what I want to demonstrate here is how we can use music to tell a story that accompanies what the player is doing. And of course, because we don't know how long a player will take for any given scene, we have to be able to loop this certain section and then move smoothly into the next phase. In the last video, we took a look at just the first few steps in this process. We looked, we looked at the beginning of combat and then the actual engaging of combat. Uh, what I've done now is I've added a, a few more uh, states for the game. I've added in a chase, a um, bit of an interlude, a boss sequence, and an ending for when the, the level is complete. So as we listen to this music, uh, I want you to picture a player in this level. So they've encountered enemies, they've begun fighting them, they've gone onto a chase, which is ultimately going to lead to a boss battle. I will be switching between the different states, and you'll hear these transitions take place, and you'll be able to hear even some of these loops as they continue to loop back on themselves. Each section is only maybe 10 to 15 seconds long. Um, they could be a lot longer, we could add a ton more variety in there. Uh, but this is a, just a very, very simple approach to horizontal music, so um, I didn't want to spend too long on the, the music side, but more demonstrating how this works in a WISE project. So let's go from the very beginning, and we will move through the different combat states.
and there you have it. So as you can hear, each section has a different theme or motif associated with it. And as we would progress along in the level, these themes would accompany the visuals that are happening on screen. Um, I could do a lot more with each one of those sections. I could make them maybe 30 seconds to a minute long to help avoid any sort of repetition. I could use some more vertical sequencing where I remove layers or add layers depending on what's happening on the scene. Um, but this again was just meant to be a very quick demonstration of what's possible and why and how we can use these loops to further enhance the storytelling of our video games. I really hope you enjoyed this video and I'd really appreciate it if you would leave a like, uh, subscribe, share it with some indie game developers that you may know and uh, if it inspires them to add some adaptive music into their video games, I think that's a win. So thank you very much and have an awesome day.